Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. I ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know where Jericho is. Jericho. A place where androids are free. A place for deviants to rise up against their creators. They transmit a piece of code to each other in order to find their sanctuary. Now you have the key. Ferndale Station is the door. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head, and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation, and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... 
I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Yesterday? When we set fire to that place? Ugh. All that chaos, the flames. In that moment, I enjoyed it. The power, the violence, and I hate myself for feeling that way. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. 
they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're free. You know, I bet President Moore is in bed inside the life. Killed me that size. You got the wrong idea. So what? You slipped and both hands like Don't call it a Androids are come with us. You're awake now. Finally. I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. Yes. Listening. 
You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? I you need to block here. the street. Chosen to be free. You are free. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know. Hundreds. We are thousands. We are they're marching. We are yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know.
We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Doing. They're gonna kill us all! After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky told me how to find Jericho. I know where the Deviants are hiding. You've done very well, Connor. Thanks to you, we now have a chance to stop the Deviant Revolution. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Did Kempsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. 
Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. 
You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. You have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just cut them down. There are the raids across the city. Our androids all over the square. We've got to do something. We can't just stand by. They're only machines. They look like just people. with People who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Authorities will come to collect your android. 
Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids won't do any harm. seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for American society. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. Our androids all over the square. And the police arrived and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like.
difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Violence only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow! Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen.
They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Nice try, 
but I'm no deviant. in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. I manage. Alice is all that matters. 
Your side. With us? Are you a human? Obviously. What do I look like? DPD. I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Join you later. Over there! 